Here at uh, Jefferson's Monticello on President's Day. Just had some snow last night, so it's quite a beautiful day to be up here. It's set way high up above Charlottesville, so you have a terrific view of the whole surrounding area. You can actually walk up here. You have to take a shuttle bus if you come by car, park down below by the visitor center and take a shuttle bus, but there's a trail that leads up here. It's about two and a half miles and it's absolutely beautiful. If you don't mind walking, it's a terrific way to, to see Monticello because you sort of earn your trip up here. And um, it's a pretty smooth path too. It's mostly like crushed gravel. So you could even, <laughs> if you have a lot of energy, take a stroller up there if you're traveling with kids. This is the front of Monticello right here, and this is a tour group that's just starting. And um, apparently it took 40 years for Jefferson to build this estate. Monticello 2. The brickwork you see here, all the bricks were kilned on the mountain. In fact, where you parked your cars, that's where one of the brick kilns was located. And who do you think was making all these bricks? The slaves, yeah. It's not a surprise that Jefferson was a slaveholder. He, along with Washington and Madison, were they all slaves? But you might be surprised to learn that Jefferson owned over 600 African Americans during the course of his life, only freed seven. And it's a contradiction in his character that we still struggle with today in the 21st century because, of course, what's he most famous for? The Declaration of Independence, in which he writes those imperishable words, all men are created and equal, and yeah. But what you're going to see inside the house is quite extraordinary because uh, we've been able to reconstruct, literally, with his own artifacts, what we think it looked like during his retirement years. He lived here for 17 years in retirement, and Six months after he died, his family had to sell virtually everything in the house to pay off his debts. We'll talk about that in 